Hi and welcome to my channel and today we are going to be doing a video that I plan on doing every single year. So let's get into this video. Billie Eilish does a video every year with Vanity Fair and they ask her basically the same questions and every year she answers them. And it's interesting because every year you would think you would answer these questions the same, but as you grow and as you learn, you realize that you probably would answer these questions differently every single year. When Billie Eilish started to do this video with Vanity Fair every year and every year I watch it, I always wanted to do it. I figured for my end of the year video, this year and moving forward I would do this same video and answer these same questions. Let's get into question one. My name is Carrie. It is December 31st, 2022. I currently have 2,207 followers on my Instagram. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm really excited for the channel next year. I am just excited about my life currently. I'm just happy. It's taken a long time for me to get to this point but everything that's been happening so far in my life, it's been very coincidental and very like it's supposed to be happening. I'm curious and excited to see what 2023 brings. So for this question, I don't really have a career, but since most of these questions are going to be related to my YouTube channel, did you guys know that Brad Mondo DM'd me? <laughs> So Brad Mondo is a hairstylist and he's been on YouTube for, a, YouTube for a long time and I made a video reviewing one of his products last year and it's only a nine minute video but I was honest and I was sincere and I didn't do it to get clout or anything. I just did it because at the time I was running out of ideas and I didn't know what to record and I had recently just bought one of his products and I was like, I might as well just do a review on this and if reviews are something that I'm good at on my channel and people like them, I will <laughs> continue to do them. So I made it and I just kind of forgot about it and then he recently DM'd me and at first I thought it was not him, like it was his like entourage or like his team behind the scenes, but it really was him and <laughs> it was pretty wild. I was excited, but you also have to realize that just because a person has a large number or a large following on their socials, they're still a human being. They're just human. So I try to tr treat every single celebrity or anybody that has a large following the same. I don't want to treat somebody that has a million followers different than somebody who has 500. It still was pretty awesome. <laughs> Making my way through your movie because I am annoying. <laughs> oh man, this question. So a year ago, I probably, if I could give myself some advice, it would be, girl, just keep going. What you're doing is the right thing. Keep staying in your own lane, keep pushing, keep grinding, keep doing whatever you're doing currently because there will be a positive outcome in what you're doing. Because anytime you put forth doing something, no matter what it is, you will always have something positive come in. And I had a lot of positive stuff come in just by grinding away and posting these videos. So I would definitely tell myself, it's going to work, it's going to be okay, just keep doing it, just keep pushing forward. So I would say secure security and security in the way of monetary because I grew up a lot of people don't know this about me because I don't I don't let it define me anymore and I don't want it to define me because you always have a choice to get yourself out of situations if you choose and if you work really hard. I mean, I grew up seeing people have to count pennies to buy milk and bread. And so when I saw that and experienced that as a young kid, I always told myself that someday you're going to be okay and you're going to work super hard and you're not going to count pennies to get uh, uh, bread and milk and even though I don't drink or eat either of those things the thought was still there of you're gonna work really hard and you're gonna you're gonna have a good life and so I think currently um, security with money is still in the making but I definitely don't have to count my pennies to buy things anymore. I'm still working on it, but I definitely am not. I mean, obviously I have beautiful home and I have a lot of beautiful things, but I want to get to a point where I'm really financially secure. I would say last year I felt a lot more pressure because it was 
it was still pretty new doing this channel and uploading. I was uploading twice a week for a while and that was a lot of pressure. Earlier in this year I was uploading twice a week and it was a lot, like it was a lot of pressure and it was very stressful but I feel like I needed to learn certain lessons by uploading twice a week and so I would say recently not so much pressure because I I've kind of realized that even if I do post one video a week, it's still okay. People still enjoy it. Definitely not as much pressure as what I used to. I ate my usual breakfast. I made some keto pancakes and I have my coffee and I put an espresso shot in there because um, your girl's tired today. <laughs> But that's what I ate today. I love pancakes and I make them every morning. I'm curious to see what I'm gonna be eating for breakfast next year. <laughs> so my office is a little bit in shambles right now, not gonna lie. I clean it a lot, but when I'm in the moment of editing or making something, things just kind of get messy and I don't know where to put a lot of stuff. My house isn't very big and I don't really have a lot of storage. I mean, we have the basement, but for the most part, it's kind of in shambles right now, but I want to get to a point where I can decorate it and maybe paint the walls, put a cool rug down at some point. I'm hoping maybe this next year I'll be able to do that. It's just, and I don't have a lot of time to do that. Right now it's pretty dirty. <laughs> oh man, um, I don't really, I can't say that I don't have fans because I do, but I don't have a lot. I have a few, but the one that always stuck out to me, well, there were two. The first one was when I met my good friend, Tara. I was at Ulta, I was looking for some makeup, and this was like literally the beginning of my channel, so, oh my God, Kelvin. Whenever I'm out in public or when I'm by myself, I'm always thinking of things, and so my face tends to look RBF-ish, <laughs> and so I'll, I'm just looking at this makeup and then, Tara was like, Carrie? And my first thought was, who the f bleep <laughs> knows me in this place? And I didn't know her, so I, it was kind of like a shock because I was not expecting it because you, when you first have somebody recognize you because you record videos on the internet, it's kind of a shock because you're not used to it yet. And so right away I was like, <clears throat> But then she told me, oh, YouTube, and I'm like, oh, yes. That friendship, obviously, I became her, like, really good friend because it's just a small town, and if somebody is willing to take time out of their day to watch my videos, and they live in my small town, they're, you're gonna be my friend, like. <laughs> And then the second one was I was going to get a DEXA scan and a DEXA scan is just a scan that they scan your whole body and it gives you measurements of your bone density, your muscle mass, your fat tissue, etc, etc. And the lady that was giving me my DEXA scan recognized me from TikTok. She actually was like freaking out. Like she's, oh my gosh, I can't believe your second shift carry. I watch your videos all the time. I share them with my friends. And then she just kept going and going and going. She just was so excited and by that point that would have been the second time somebody has recognized me out in public. It's a cool feeling, but then I felt like, okay, we're friends too now. <laughs> I haven't had any people recognize me since then. Those were the definitely the two most like memorable ones. I would say, trust me, just because somebody comes off as um, funny or sarcastic or they're comedian-like, they're not dumb and they're, you can trust what they're doing. So a lot of times, I get this all the time. Because I'm funny and because I'm very comedic in general, people think that I'm really not smart or that I can't figure things out, but just know that like anything I post on the internet, there's gonna be an entertainment value to it because I'll never post a video where there's it's just like dead air or dead silence and like I'm just talking. There will always be some type of entertainment because my channel Channel is very a very entertainment type of channel just any video that I upload just know that like if it's a crazy video I'm not gonna go like for example like that sugar daddy video that I did I was never planning on actually meeting these people um, even though it seemed like I was in the video or there was a lot of comments that just told me to be careful you can trust your girl I might I might come off aloof and a little dumb in some of my videos when I edit when it comes to like anything else your girl's pretty smart <laughs> so you do not have to worry about me if you were to consider my entourage Mike my brother Brian my younger brother Mark and his uh, girlfriend and my dad that's five people <laughs> that's my squad <laughs>
<laughs> Everything else on this channel I do on my own, so my entourage is my 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 fam. <laughs> Oh, oh man, you guys, this question. This is gonna expose me a little bit, but you're here for that, aren't you? <laughs> I absolutely hate being asked anything, well, not anything, but specific things with my celiac disease. I know when people ask me about this, about celiac and my celiac journey, they're just asking out of curiosity, but when it's always followed up with, oh my God, you can't eat that? Like you've never, like you haven't eaten bread for like that long like what do you eat or it's followed up with like oh well that's why you're so skinny or that's why you never gain weight it's like it's kind of like eye rolly um it's also annoying especially when people ask me like what happens when i eat wheat because it's always followed it because i the people that ask me what happens when i eat it they have literally asked me that a million times before and every time they re-ask me i'm like i told you this like last month were you not like listening to me when i told you this so whenever I'm going to meet new people, more than likely there will be food there. And then I scope it out and let's say I can only have like the meat that they have there. So I put the meat on my plate and that's it. And then people start to stare at you and then they snicker. And then somebody will, usually somebody will come up and be like, well, why aren't you eating anything else? Why are you just eating the meat? And then you have to explain, well, I can't, I have celiac. Oh, well, what's that? And then I'll say, well, I just can't have flour. I'm kind of allergic to it. And then that's when they have the realization that every everything has flour in it and then they name off things like so you can't have bread and I'm like nope so you can't have like pizza and I'm like no and they're like you can't have this and this and this and they go oh my god I could never do what you do when you hear that literally every single day for years on end you kind of get salty when like you have to go somewhere where there's food just because it's like you have to explain yourself and I'm sure there's a lot of other people that have to explain themselves too especially if there's like a big if it's like a bigger disease or it's more noticeable or it's something where like something really bad could happen if they eat certain things you know like if they have like an actual real allergic reaction but like for me obviously I don't the symptoms are always internally they're never externally usually so anything with celiac I'm like okay I don't even want to talk about it <laughs> anymore because <laughs> it's not that big of a deal and then the second one question that I cannot stand being asked is when I'm getting married and when I'm having kids and I'm not even going to elaborate because I know that there would be a tens of thousands of, of opinions about these two subjects and just know that like if a person isn't married or doesn't have a kid doesn't have kids by a certain age there is nothing wrong with them and it's really none of other people's businesses to be honest those are the questions I do not like answering <laughs> so I am so excited for next year with the channel in general and I'm excited to see what happens I have a lot of video ideas I have a lot of projects that I'm going to be doing and the one project that I just started this week and by the time you see this video it's going to be up I might not have a lot of videos up on it yet but myself brother Brian my brother Mark his girlfriend and my dad we started a motorcycle slash snowmobile slash anything that has to do with a motor YouTube channel and if you're curious on what what it entails Tails. Just roll the clips. <laughs> So if that is a channel that is interesting to you, subscribe. Subscribe because if you think that this channel is entertaining and funny, when my dad and my brothers and I, when we get together, it's like joke after joke after joke. There's gonna be a series on there where I'm going to make myself learn how to do a wheelie, but I wanna do them so I'll probably fall a lot, but it's okay. We have a lot of classic bikes, old Hondas, old Yamahas, Triumph, Ducati, every single old vintage bike we have have or we have connections to those bikes and there's gonna be a lot of fun things on that channel reviews riding videos and we're coming for you Seaboys TV <laughs> we're coming for 
for you guys. So with this question, it always comes back to support. Anything that I personally do, I want support. I want the person that I'm with to support me. No matter how crazy and outlandish it is, support and like helping me, that always makes me feel fulfilled because I'm definitely a person that when I have an idea and I bounce the idea off to somebody else and they give me feedback and it's good feedback, I take that into consideration and then I'm more likely to do the thing. I'm not like that much anymore. I'm pretty like self-sufficient. If there's something I want to do, I just do it. But in the beginning of the, the relationship with Mike, it was very like I needed his support just to do anything because I was extremely insecure about just doing stuff and learning new things. With his support, I've grown into this very confident, I can do this, I can do this shit. <laughs> right now, the number one thing is support. So thanks, babe. <laughs> oh man. Comfortable, baggy, and this Minnesota sweatshirt. <laughs> I don't really have a favorite movie. I have a favorite Christmas movie, but my favorite genre of a movie would be documentaries. I love me a good documentary. I will watch those all the time. I don't know what it is about them, but any type of documentary, girl's gonna watch it. <laughs> so currently, the biggest thing I'm struggling with is not having enough time. So when you're young, you think time goes by so slow and that it just doesn't go fast enough. But then when you grow up and you get older, you just, time slips by and if you don't do the certain things you want to do, you feel like you're falling behind. And there's a lot of things that I want to do, especially with this channel. I have so many ideas and so many plans on things I want to do, but I currently do not have enough time to do them because by the time I get around to do them, it might be a trend and the trends come and go so fast. And I just always feel like I never have enough time because I only have so much time in my day where I can shoot and edit the video. And then I have to go to my normal regular job and it's just you have to be very planned out and so currently I'm struggling with not enough time. I'm going to be doing all these questions next year and I cannot wait to see what I say for these questions and I cannot wait to see you all in 2023. All right guys I'll see you in the next one. Bye!